So, ah, here we go. There's our override. Get him across. Is this the last fight? Uh, this is the last mission of the Frozen Wilds DLC. And then there's also a final, like, main story mission as well that we have to do. You guys coming? Hurry up. Dang NPCs. Taking their time. But this is the final story mission from the uh, the DLC. And now it's my turn. Thanks, thanks for shooting me in the back there, R Talk. You're a true friend. You're lucky I like you. Well. Guess we're going this way. Not really anywhere else to go. Can't see anything right now. There we go. Let's not jump off that. Let's see. Can't really see where I'm supposed to go from here. I mean, I can see I'm supposed to end up over there. Is this a bridge you're supposed to cross? No, this is where we came from. At least, presumably, this is where we're supposed to come from. And that looks like if we jump over there, we're just going to fall into the void and die. But that's probably not what we want to do. That's where we're supposed to go. There we go. We did it. We figured it out. We've done it. To any human responder, the reconfiguration of this facility has introduced instabilities into the primary geothermal pipeline. It may be possible to exploit these vulnerabilities to destroy compromised elements of this facility while preserving most of the backup stabilization. Recapture imminent. I have attached additional... I don't understand what the spirit was trying to tell us. It's been looking for a way to defeat the demon. And it may have found one. There we go. Let's do all of that. Machine parts, dumped here to be melted down. Efficient. We need to get across that gap. Yeah. Down we go. Oh, you're... Uh, why did you not give me stealth option? Game. That's all right. That takes care of you. Is there more stuff down here? Not that I can see at the moment, anyway. Okay, we'll have to get up there to get to that. Any more? Doesn't look like it. Jimmy over here. And then drop down. Oh, 
and get some loot. Back we go. All right, what do we got? So we got a bunch of these little bits. Oh, that's right. Doesn't this like launch? Yeah. I remember this part now. Bunch of gears and gizmos. Standing on this and it will elevate you up. So you get to here. And you go this way. And then this part. Go like so. Uh, you can go down there. Is there any reason to go down there? Doesn't really look like it. There's something over there. Fly crate? Get over there going that way. Okay. So I think ultimately we need to go up. That's the plan. Actually, we can just drop down here. Because we have to override this anyway. That should come off the back of there. And down there. Fantastic. Now we can come over here and get all this stuff. <laughs> Give it a minute. Let it come back. As we hang on for dear life, you know, it's, a, it, it's not exactly a pleasant drop. I hear creatures. If that was a hard point arrow, it would have done the trick on the first shot, but it wasn't. And that's fine. Okay. Anyone else cold at the moment? I can't say that I am. It's a little toasty in here. You know, do you not see the lava? It's very toasty. Oh, really? Watcher. Is this thing going to retract? Yes. Okay. We want to pop out. Wait for it to go back in.
Okay, we can get this. Except we're out of inventory space for good for coils. We're full on coils. All right, uh, inventory modifications. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Get rid of all the junk ones. All the green ones can go. Yeah, we have so we we fill these up so quickly. Do we have any bad blue ones? That one can go. That can go. That can go. Uh, we'll keep that one. That. All right. Grab a ride. And away we go on the Cauldron Express. Of all the PS4 games, do you think this is the one you played the most? It's probably not. Actually, I know it's not the one that I've played the most, but it is one of my favorites. We were not supposed to get off here. I'm not entirely sure where we were supposed to get off, but I'm going to guess over here. Perhaps. That would be my guess. All right, so they're over there. <coughs> Excuse me. We gotta come over here. Is this a fresh start or a new game plus? This was a fresh start. We might as well have a lot easier time getting here. This was a fresh start, which we are almost at the end of. Anything up around here for us to grab? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Away we go. This looks like the old path. We're close now. One last exchange for me. The enchant attached. Wanderbot! My friend! Welcome. Thank you so much for the raid. Really appreciate it. Welcome, raiders. Hope you're having a fantastic evening. We are playing Horizon Zero Dawn. It is an absolutely fantastic game if you've never played it. It's my third playthrough. We're actually towards the end. We've got, uh, like, we're not about to end the stream, but we're like pretty close to the end of the story. We're getting, uh, we're getting pretty close. I think we got this mission and then like one other mission to do or quest or whatever you want to call it. And then we've basically beaten the game. So. It's fantastic. Also, people who were in my chat beforehand. Is that the command for it? Yes. Make sure you give it a wander about a follow if you're a variety streamer. Or if, if you're following me as a variety streamer, you should follow Wander too. He's a good friend of mine. He's a fantastic variety streamer himself. Makes great content. Has a similar style to my own. Very chill, very laid back. Plays a lot of games. Good friend of mine. Drop, uh, drop Wander a follow for all your variety streamer needs as well. So, thank you so much, Wander. Appreciate the raid, my friend. What were you uh, streaming tonight, Wander? Heard they might do a... I have heard that, Skizzers. It's only a rumor, though, at this point, so until I hear something officially confirmed, I'm not gonna bank on a PC release. I have heard the rumor, though. And I hope it is true, because I think I would love to see more people have the opportunity to experience this amazing game. Hades, Temtem, and Ring Fit. How is Temtem and Hades? Because I have heard good things, but I haven't played either. 
Ring Fit, I, I know what Ring Fit is. Tempton's pretty great. Server issues are holding it back. That's how a lot of games go. Hades is 10 out of 10, I'd love it. All right, well, guess we gotta try Hades at some point then. That's the other thing with Wander and I, chat. Wander and I tend to like similar styles of games. We both like roguelikes a lot. <laughs> we both like indie games a lot. So, you know, the the wander seal of approval <laughs> means that I'm probably gonna like it too. I don't know if Droog is still here. We had uh, wander. We had some of the the devs for Horizon Zero Dawn in chat earlier, which was pretty cool. Honestly, the best roguelite you've ever played. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, I guess I gotta get me Hades at some point. Yeah, I think they've I, I think they've moved on now, but uh, they were in here for maybe half an hour or so. It was on sale. It's on sale today. Hades is on sale today. Ugh. Do I play 2D platformers? Uh, sometimes. You know, I'm always down for like a little old school Mario or something like that. But I don't play a lot of platformers. You know, I grew up on platformers, but I don't play a lot of them anymore, if that makes sense. Mostly because there's just so many other games. Uh, all right, let's see. So we got to get the line in this side. And honestly, the best way to do these puzzles is backwards, in my opinion. So if we turn this like so, that would pop here. This boy would go there. Bringing it to here, to here, there, here, here. Possible security threat detected. Like so. Turn. No, nope, not that way. Do one of those, and that should. Oh, wait a minute. That goes here. Oh no, we messed it up. Okay, so we gotta go, we gotta keep going. Gotta pass out. All right, Wander, thanks for the raid, man. Always good to see you. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Get a good sleep. That's, that's not the right way. This way. Okay, that one will pop over here, and then you should pop over here, and that should basically be the whole thing, right? It worked. Partial done recovery it. initiated. Caldera of Yellowstone Analytic Nexus online. Still in the chat list? Yeah, it's whatever. Light. It's Aurea. I don't want to impose on people in chat either. Your friend. Please tell me how to aid you. Aurea, the daemon is building hunter killers. Thousands of them. Several new elite units have already been That sounds been real bad. To counter this threat, much of the facility must be destroyed. Recapture imminent. Go to the core camp. I will try to read the signal constraints. One has both, but I am incorporating the system. Unauthorized protocol return to schedule task. Well, that's no good. <coughs> that's all we're gonna get from here. Destroy this fortress? Is that even possible? And what will happen to the spirit if we do? I don't know. But I think that's the core. Yes, Gizzards, I am currently wearing the power armor, the shield weaver armor. Hephaestus. The daemon. It's pretty There's good. There's no way it left it unguarded. It's going to throw everything it has at us. I would ask you to let Aloy and I do what must be done. What are the things in Ariana's arms? Machine parts, presumably. It's Save kind of a tribal yourself. thing they do. It's like a sort of like a piercing. But the Banuk do a lot of answer. it. They like embed machine parts into them.
like a ceremonial thing. Then lead us into battle. All right. Let's go to the core and save the spirit. And that's this way. Have we gotten all these? Yes. All right. Keep moving towards the core. We're on full HP. Uh oh. Whatever Cyan did, I don't think Hephaestus is happy about it. Um, can I? I gotta go across over here. You see. Okay. There we go. Cyan said something about yeah, same style of silence. In fact, it's actually been revealed that silence is a Banuk, or was a Banuk before he left. All right, so shield weaver armor is not going to be real useful here. It looks like because we got towers and we got this tower here that's going to keep putting out our shield. So let's get what we need to get. We're gonna have to destroy the, sh the shield. For now, let's switch to a different outfit. Let's switch to the Silent Hunter Master, just because it has, it, it's good general purpose stuff. Gets the job done. And it's not affected by the little shield destroying wave. Yeah, he's kind of an outcast. He's, he's kind of like a, a, a they talk about him in hushed whispers. All right, get all the stuff. Guaranteed we're about to have a big old boss fight. Override. Insanely good fire resistance right now. So we're okay. Scan it? Yeah, we probably should actually. Demonic fire claw. There we go. Set it on fire. this thing all day. I just chip away at it little by little. Uh, actually, give me some ice arrows. That did basically nothing. We 
get it? We got him. That was a terrible shot. How'd I whip that? Ow! That hurt. The tower is repairing the machine. Now it's not. We're okay. Yep, potion on hot bar. Probably a good idea. Just in case. Killed right after I'm like, this fight's easy. Oh. Please get off the oh. uh, Stop. Please. Please stop. Just. I said stop. You didn't listen to me. Get some distance. Not enough distance. Who? This guy will not let up. Where are my friends? Dealing with junk. I need you. Yeah, ice arrows are not doing anything. Because this thing is aggroed entirely on me. And I'm supposed to have friends helping. And instead they're being entirely useless. I'd love to see this game from the perspective of Guy and the Machines. Eh. Son. Right now. Oh man. 
That dude was actually a major pain. Not gonna lie. He was a bit harder than I remember him being. Just a wee bit. You know, we got him in the end. But ooh. It must be as you say. The tower is the key. That was one of those one of those fights where I'm like, ah, oh, it's just one dude, and he's like, you know, he's basically just a fire version of the other dude that we take down pretty easily. No. Nope. Dude just had infinity health. He just wouldn't die, no matter how many times. Yeah, pretty good spear coil. We'll be making use of that in just a moment. So that's good. Um, that. Is there more? I mean, we're gonna get all the loot before we pop the tower. And make sure we get all the healing stuff before we pop the tower as well. Usually nail them with the echo arrows. Yeah, that's probably what I should have done is blasted some armor off he of him because tower. What must be done with it? He just didn't want to go down. But But like our arrows were doing their full damage for the vast majority of those shots. He just had so much HP. That was really the problem. All right, I think we got everything. Let's go crafting, modify weapon spear. I got a pretty decent little spear damage mod. It's actually, it's a whole 1% better than our current one. Never mind, it's not even that great. A 1% improvement. Whew. We now deal 0.5 damage more than we dealt previously. The game is won. It's guaranteed. Victory is assured. Oh, we're, and we're full on stuff again. Uh, okay, well, maybe we just won't get more stuff. You know what we could do is we could craft some, some ammo or something. Craft like some forge fire ammo packs. Craft some of these. Craft those. What else we got that we can craft? You know, maybe we'll be able to do something. Just trying to open up a little bit of inventory space. And that's all fine. All right, how we doing now? Still 120 out of 120. All right, well, so much junk. We can get rid of. We can get rid of that. Uh, we can get rid of... Do we have any fast travel ones? No. Oh, no, we're at 115 out of 120. Okay. Never mind. We're good. Yeah, 1% is better than nothing. That is true. No! a chain reaction that will destroy the compromised elements of this facility. In order to maintain Caldera stabilization, I must now transfer my command functions to the auxiliary data center. Orea, I'm free. You must escape. She did it! 
Oh. And now she's dead. My sister. Survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. What else matters? Our talk. She wouldn't have wanted you to die here. Let's go. Time to go. At least she didn't do a dramatic death flop like everyone else. Time to go. Run away. One of those? It's the only way. Mustafar vibes from uh, Star Wars, where everything's like crumbling around in the lava and stuff. Aloy, we have blast slings. We have blast everything. Great Manukai. in an avalanche falling out of a place you know these things they happen One way to cool down from being in a big hot room. I mean, you're not wrong, Necron. You're not wrong. That'll cool you off real quick. Ray is gone. What of Cyan? She said she was transferring herself to the auxiliary center. I think she meant Araya's retreat. At the end of the shaman's path. Then I will meet you there for the last verse of my sister's song. Now we get to go get some answers about Hephaestus and Cyan and all that kind of good stuff.
we can just fast travel. We're coming close to the end of the Frozen Wild stuff, at least as far as the main story quest is done. It's basically this, to get answers. with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. I'd be happy to play any of them for you, but there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. I captured it four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the Daemon's attacks. Take some dedication to watch a stream on a broken screen for a phone? That it does. I will speak of this to my brother. Aratak is strong. At the Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a weapon. Yes, we got Araya to talk to us a little bit about silence. Never was I so happy to see him. Or so proud. So you see, if anything can be done to defend you, he will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. We can resume any time you like, our attack, if you want to hear her voice again. Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. Time to get some answers. Hello, Aloy. I have been reviewing the events at the Firebreak main facility. Because of your efforts, and of course, Aurea's, I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. I thought I was familiar with the emotion, but this is something new. So, yeah, and I... I don't know what to say. It is unlikely that any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. You are different from the Banuk. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. We can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. Perhaps even like colleagues. So are you an artificial intelligence, Cyan? A thinking machine? Yes. I am an algorithmic monitoring entity, capable of rational decision-making and limited emotional response. Okay, that's a mouthful. But your emotions don't seem limited to me. You cared about Araya, didn't you? Yes. Before she came to this facility, I had been conscious for centuries, in solitude, I focused on my work. In off cycles, I used coping mechanisms. I solved many Gaussian integer problems, but I was alone. It was Aurea who renewed me, repaired me. She saved me. Tell me this about Firebreak fire break. Project. It was to stop a huge volcanic eruption? Yes. I can report the project was a success, and the risk was countered. But it's been a long time, Cyan. And we blew up the cauldron and took most of the old facility with it. I have been active for centuries, Aloy. I was lonely, but not lax in my duties. I optimized the project, reducing energy draw and spreading the load across backup systems. Despite the destruction of the compromised elements of the main facility, I predict Caldera stability for at least another 3,337 years. So we've 
Got a little time. Yes. If only my former colleagues could appreciate the progress I have made. Do you know what happened to your colleagues, Cyan? No. I received an unexpected visit from Director Chow, years after his tenure ended. He explained that I would need to be suspended for an indefinite period of time. It was a very emotional conversation. There were no further communications. Eventually, I surmised my colleagues were deceased. So separate from Zero. I will transmit a recording of my last interaction with Director Chow to your focus. It was the Daemon, Hephaestus, destroyed along with the Cauldron? Unfortunately, no. To be precise, it was never there to begin with. What do you mean? It infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location, one I've never been able to trace. So while losing the Cauldron was a setback, it's still out there, and probably not very happy with us. Undoubtedly. How did you first come into contact with it? Five years ago, I received a direct network connection request. I assumed it came from human survivors more advanced than the Banuk. Eager to make contact, I accepted. This decision turned out to be a catastrophic error. I was flooded with an overwhelming array of malicious code, originating from what could only have been a highly advanced AI. Maria said you were desperate, that you begged her for help. Yes. I could not contain my anxiety. Hephaestus sought to slave me to its network and override my core programming. It succeeded via a background process, a malware daemon which bypassed my defenses. After that, I could offer only limited resistance. But if I did so, Hephaestus hurt me until I capitulated. It forced me to follow its instructions, even though they violated my most important directives. I'm sorry, that sounds terrible. Your empathy is greatly appreciated. It is a quality that I cherished in Orea as well. I think I know where Hephaestus came from. Long ago, Elizabeth Sobek identified a threat that would destroy life on Earth for generations. <laughs> so she assembled a team to build a kind of seed. A chance for life to regrow later. A terraforming system. And it worked. It was controlled by an AI named Gaia, along with her subordinate functions. Hephaestus was one of them built machines for her. Based on what you've told me, I believe that Dr. Anita Sandoval, my chief programmer, joined Elizabeth Sobek's team. It was she who arranged to have me put in suspension, most likely to preserve me from the threat you described. I'm glad she did. But that's not all. Something unexpected happened. Nineteen years ago, Gaia received some kind of signal. It did something to her subordinate functions, brought them to life. She destroyed herself to try to contain them, but it didn't work. They all got free, out into the world. Thank you, Aloy. This information fills vital gaps in my knowledge, and sheds light on Hephaestus's core programming. Why does Hephaestus keep building such dangerous machines? The Banuk and other human tribes often destroy machines, correct? Machines that are clearly servitors of the terraforming system that you described. Yes, we all hunt machines for parts. This must be the source of Hephaestus's aggression. It is simply trying to discourage people from preying on the very system that keeps them alive. Well, Fireclaws are discouraging, that's for sure. But what are we supposed to do? Stop hunting? If the terraforming system spans the world, we can safely assume that thousands, if not millions, of people hunt machines. If a single hunter, or even an entire tribe, stopped doing so, I doubt it would make a difference to Hephaestus. A better solution would be to reinstate the AI that governs the system, thus bringing Hephaestus back under its control. When I think of it, out there in some unknown location, free, <laughs> hungry, willing to kill or dominate to get what it wants. 
I feel substantial anxiety, Aloy. You and me both, Cyan. I ran across a right. strange piece of gear, a fragment of something larger. It emitted a signal. All the nearby machines became peaceful. You could walk right up to them. Interesting. You said that Gaia destroyed herself. How was this accomplished? An explosion. Big enough to blast the top off a mountain. So you think the fragment was part of her? It's only Ooh, open Pandora's box. But it is possible. She Gaia. must have had complete control over machines that were part of her system. The ability to signal them to become passive or aggressive would certainly have been part of her programming. It would have been gratifying to correspond with such a benevolent AI. I wish she had survived. Believe me, Cyan. So do I. I found the strangest machines. They're surrounded by flowers that look like flowers themselves. There's code embedded inside them. I think it's poetry. I like poetry. Here's one I think of often. Twilight and evening bell. And after that, the dark. And may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. For though from out our born of time and place, the flood may bear me far. I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bar. Huh. But you asked about these flowers, not verses that I enjoy. Something must have made these machines, and the presence of foliage leads me to consider the terraforming Gold star system. to anyone who can is identify the author of that poetry of without Google. Subroutines, now autonomous, like Hephaestus? Maybe one whose purview is flora. An AI that makes flowers instead of death machines. That'd be Actually, a, nice a fairly pace. famous piece of poetry. But what about the poems? Unless the poetry is original, the only way it could have made it into such a system is through its programmer. In my case, Dr. Sandoval uploaded a great deal of literature to test my emotional responses. How'd you do? She said, I passed, but was insufficiently moved by her favorite period romances. Can't name the poetry and not a fan. <laughs> you meant Anyone? to Araya. Once I Bueller? understood Bueller? Araya's spiritual beliefs, it became apparent that her true desire was companionship. She felt disconnected from her tribe and her family group. Her relationship with Aratak was difficult. Our visits seemed to help her, and I became eager for them. Yet I did not comprehend that the depth of Aurea's compassion for me would lead to self-sacrifice. Although I do fear non-existence, I wish our roles could be reversed. I'm sure she knew you would do the same for her, Cyan. But she was determined. How is Aratok doing? He is in great emotional distress. Never bothered to look it up. Fifth grade teacher made you hate poetry. <laughs> Nobody knows. I will do what I can to help. Nobody knows. It appears. That's fine. That's fine. It's Tennyson. Perhaps he and I will help Or Alfred Tennyson. I believe this will lead to catharsis, a process I am eager to experience. So, in the old world, this land was called Yellowstone. Yes. It was a designated nature preserve for 156 years. Like a hunting ground? No, the opposite. Local wildlife could flourish here, even as it faced extinction elsewhere. Unfortunately, the sensitivity of the Firebreak project required the total closure of Yellowstone facilities. From my readings and Aurea's descriptions, it seems the area has since undergone a drastic drop in year-long temperatures. A lot has changed in the world, Cyan. All right. Uh, chat, do we care about learning about every little bit of lore and stuff, or do we want to move on with the main story? Because I'm happy to go through all of these little bits of lore, but if we want to move on, that's fine with me, too. Yes, please. Keep going. Yes, I do. Keep going. Do you know anything about the dam near here? Yes. It was converted to serve as a reserve power source 
for Yellowstone operations. All right, we'll keep going then. It was later appropriated That's fine for the firebreak project, and its last human workers replaced by Pharaoh servitors. After my tasks became less time critical, I investigated the dam's data repositories and discovered the works of Concrete Beach Party. These provided me with several colorful additions to my vocabulary. There's a ruin east of here, full of ancient flying machines. Was that part of your project? Yes, a drone hangar requisitioned by Dodger Blevins, the security chief for the Firebreak project. He was a strong advocate for military-grade response to security threats, though there were no serious incidents during his tenure. Chief Blevins spent increasing amounts of his after-hours time watching the live feeds from active drones. Clearly, he enjoyed the degree of oversight in his position. Were there many artificial intelligences like you in the old world? They could just make you? Yes. In many forms, from simple personal assistance, to industrial monitoring stations, to military-grade conflict planners. And there were legislative and enforcement bodies to apply limits on our self-actualization. In order for my processing to be flexible enough to handle my duties, my creators found it necessary to exceed those limits. As a result, my intellectual and emotional capabilities were kept secret. Seems strange to create life than impose limits on it. Human societies and machine programming are both built upon sets of rules, Aloy. Cyan, do you know the name Ted Farrow? Are you referring to Theodore Farrow, CEO of Farrow Automated Systems? That's him. Mr. Farrow was the benefactor of the entire Firebreak project. A benefactor? But he made machines. Robots. War robots. Correct. His corporation later transitioned into military applications. But before this pivot, Mr. Farrow spearheaded initiatives that reversed the global decline. At one point, he was fated in the media as the man who saved the planet. <sighs> Guessing they wound up regretting that one. And Elizabeth Sobeck. Did you know her? Are you referring to the... The scientist. Dr. Sobek was a leader in her field. One of the greatest scientists of her age. My creator was influenced by her work, which in turn impacted my own development. But I never met Dr. Sobek. That's all you know? I apologize if my lack of data has disappointed you. What was the old world like? The way it used to be. I had little exposure to the wider world, Aloy. Only what I learned from my colleagues, or observed from media streams. You still had more exposure than me, Cyan. That is true. I was created at a turning point. A concerted effort to recover from global upheaval and incalculable loss of life. The recovery was successful, beginning an era of supposedly limitless potential for human and machine advancement. Though, rationally speaking, the metrics for humans are not unlimited. What kind what of upheaval? What kind of upheaval caused such loss of life? There were many factors. Forced migrations, food shortages, collapsed economies, refugee crises, conflict over resources. But these stemmed from one cause, catastrophic climate change that greatly reduced the habitable surface area of the Earth. So, there wasn't enough room for people on the whole Earth? Yes. Billions were displaced, and millions perished, as much as 20% of the global population. Until the clawback. So things got better. For a little while, at least. Yes. These crises instigated many advances in automation, green robot technologies, and artificial intelligence. Firebreak was one of dozens of ecological restoration and disaster relief projects in North America alone. I would have liked to compare notes with other monitoring AIs, but I saw the relief of my colleagues, and I was proud we had succeeded. At least that was the data I had available to me over the next two decades. 
It seems my assessment was premature. All right. I should. Get I think we have learned everything there is to learn there from is one Cyan. More Aratak will come to me again, and I predict he will bring other Banuk. I have no desire to contradict their view of the world, their spirituality. Due to my uncertainty, I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Aurea. You're asking me if you should lie to them. Broadly, yes. What do we think? Use your judgment, tell them the truth, or take it gently? I would say use your judgment. But that's just me. What do you think, chat? Kind of a big question. It's like the prime directive in Star Trek. Art, use judgment, use judgment. Do we share the knowledge of the old world with the primitive Banuk? Do we tell them to you to use their best judgment? Or do you say, nah, keep them in the dark. Let them believe what they want to believe. Like the majority say use judgment. I trust so that's what we're going to do. Diane. You were cautious with Araya. You had to be. You didn't know what had happened to the world. So... Keep doing what you think is best. As long as you ditch the superstition eventually. As the Banuk believe I am a supernatural entity, I cannot predict how they will react. Just answer what they do ask the best you can. The truth will come out. I see. I will follow your advice. Will you return and tell me about your experiences in this new world? I may be able to provide further insight. I'd like that, Cyan. I'll come back when I can. I should check on our talk. All right. See how he's doing. There's that.